Oh my goodness. That's a, probably a seven or eight pound walleye, right? Oh yeah, female for sure. That's a really nice fish. We're here with the fish truck today. People see fish like this being put back into the lake. Their initial thought is probably that we raise these fish. <laughs> That's not necessarily the truth, is it? Oh no, not at all. So not what's going all. on here today? Yeah, we're actually getting to put back walleye that we'd collected for hatchery purposes and put them back into the lake. So we had 90 something walleye, all pretty good sized fish. They were all returned back here in the Green River. Those fish were actually taken from this lake or the tailwaters right here Correct. close by, not that long ago. How long do we keep those fish? If they're in the hatchery for about a month, that's about the, you know, a month or less. So, and, it, and, and at times it can be even shorter than that. So when someone's out here fishing and they see a shocking boat come by and a fish truck there, and they see you taking pretty good sized fish out of the lake or out of the tailwater or whatever, why is it so important? The times that we take fish for brood stock is, is generally for fisheries that can't support themselves naturally through reproduction. Just like walleye in Green River Lake, Cumberland or Laurel or Nolan, they may go through the motions and try and produce eggs and of course do that, but the survival up to a fry or to an age of fish that's one year old is so low that it can never support or sustain a, you know, a fishable population. So walk us through the process. Once they take one of these brood stocks from the lake back to the hatchery, tell us how this process works. Oftentimes they'll hold those fish and wait till they maybe get the number that they need and sometimes the fish dictate that schedule for them and they may need to go ahead and start spawning those fish and getting them to produce the eggs and they'll hold those eggs in the hatchery for a time and, and once they hatch off, you know, hold them in the hatchery and grow them out to a fry size and then put them out into the ponds to grow out. So Eric, tell me about some other species of fish that we, we pull broodstock from the lakes and then put back in. Musky again is it one another one of those. If we didn't stock them, we wouldn't have them in the lakes. Um, same for something like sawguy. I mean, we don't have any sawguy in our district, but I, I know we're doing a research project with some stocking sawguy in some of our smaller impoundments. Again, that's a collection of sauger. Um, and crossing those with walleye to get that job done. Green has got the reputation over the last few years of being a really good bass fishery and a great crappie fishery. Are there any stockings taking place on bass and crappie? No, that's all self-sustaining. So yeah, that, and that's the way we want it. Stocking's a great tool when we need it to, to produce a fishery, but most of, most of our fisheries take care of themselves through natural reproduction, and that's crappie and bass. Not very often do we need to supplement. Man, there's a dandy. What we just saw is not typical for when people see a fish truck come up, is it? No, it's not. Normally, when we you see a fish truck come up, they're stocking little bitty fish, inch and a half, two inch fish. So today, you know, people got to see that when we're launching their boat, see some brood stock walleye being put back into the lake. Looks like you got a male and a female in there. <laughs> One of each. That right there could have produced 50, 60,000 fish, potentially. We're happy to have what we've got with the walleye systems with the Erie strain. And I'm glad to see that we're putting those fish back. Once we've used them to, to produce the eggs, it's good to see that they're back in our fisheries. Oh yeah. Thank you for the work you do as an avid fisherman. I really like to see these fish back in the lake. Yeah, thanks to the hatchery staff. They do the, they do the lion's share of that work for us. So yeah, hats off to them.